Let's talk about barrels, or rather casks. In the world of whiskey, size matters. But unlike what you might be thinking, bigger doesn't always mean better. It's about nuance, about the delicate interplay between wood and spirit. The standard bearer is the American standard barrel, a sprightly 53 gallons. It's the workhorse, the go-to for bourbon and much of the world's whiskey. Then you have hogsheads, a hefty step up at around 130 gallons. These often see previous lives as sherry casks, lending a certain fruity complexity to the whisky. And then there's the behemoth, the butt. Clocking in around 125 gallons, these are traditionally used for sherry maturation. The sheer volume allows for a slower interaction with the wood, yielding a mellow, almost stately character in the final whisky. Each size offers a unique environment for the whisky to mature, influencing its final flavour profile. It's about surface area, about the ratio of wood to liquid. Smaller casks mean more contact, leading to a more intense wood influence. Now let's talk about the inside of these wooden vessels. Charring, that almost primal act of scorching the inside of the cask, is crucial. It's not just about sanitation, though, that's part of it. Charring unlocks flavours hidden within the wood, ready to be coaxed out by the maturing spirit. We talk about char levels. From a light toast to a heavy alligator char, where the wood takes on a distinctly reptilian texture. The intensity of the char dictates the level of wood sugars caramelised during the process. These sugars are key, lending notes of caramel toffee and even a hint of smokiness to the whisky. Light char allows the subtler flavours of the wood to shine through, while a heavy char provides a bolder, more intense, smoky character. Think of it like grilling a steak. A quick sear versus a slow smoke, each yielding a different flavour profile. The type of wood used in the cask is paramount. American oak, often used for bourbon barrels, imparts flavours of vanilla, coconut and a distinct dill note. This is due to the presence of a compound called lactone, found in higher concentrations in American oak. European oak, on the other hand, tends to be more restrained. It offers up notes of dried fruit, nutmeg, and a certain spicy elegance. This difference stems from the tighter grain structure of European oak and the way it was traditionally seasoned, exposed to the elements for a longer period, allowing tannins to mellow. The choice of oak can drastically alter the whisky's flavour profile. American oak lends a bolder, sweeter character, while European oak whispers elegance and complexity. It's a matter of preference, of finding the perfect balance for the desired flavour profile. Section 4. The Slow Dance of Time, Whisky Maturation. Time, that most patient of collaborators, is essential in whisky making. Maturation, the slow interaction between spirit and wood, is where the magic truly happens. As the whisky rests in the cask, it breathes, absorbing flavours and aromas from the wood. Over time, harsh edges soften, flavours meld, and the spirit develops a depth and complexity it lacked in its youth. The length of maturation depends on the desired flavour profile and the type of cask used. Some whiskies spend a mere few years in oak, while others mature for decades, becoming richer and more nuanced with each passing year. The environment plays a role as well. Humidity, temperature fluctuations all contribute to the final product. Cooler climates result in a slower maturation, while warmer temperatures accelerate the process. It's a delicate dance, a careful balancing act between time, temperature and the whims of nature. Section 5, the symphony of flavour, it's all in the cask. So there you have it, the seemingly simple cask, a vessel that belies the complexity it holds. Each element from the size and type of wood to the level of char and the length of maturation contributes to the final symphony of flavour that is whisky. The cask is not merely a container, it's an active participant in the whisky making process. It's a crucible where raw spirit transforms into something nuanced, complex and ultimately delicious. Understanding the role of the cask allows us to appreciate the craftsmanship and artistry that goes into every bottle. It's a reminder that good things take time, 
that patience and attention to detail are rewarded with exceptional flavor. Section six, conclusion, a toast to complexity. Next time you savor a dram of whiskey, take a moment to consider the journey it has taken. Think about the cask, that silent partner in the creation of such a complex and rewarding spirit. Hope you enjoyed this short explanation about whiskey casks and barrels. Like and subscribe for more educational videos. Living by the dram where every dram tells a story.